Hello chess fans, this is Rick from chess to impress with the results of week 3 of the giveaway competition. The winner has won this chess book, the Grandmaster Battle Manual from Grandmaster Vasilios Kotronias, a Greek, Greek Grandmaster. I'll give you the results in a second, but of course we cannot only talk about the competition, we also have to play some chess in this video. So I picked out, picked out another gem of a composition for you by the Finnish composer Kivi. Published in 1936, it's white to play and draw this position, which looks very unlikely because black has that pawn on a3, which is going to run to queen. And yes, white has a pawn on h6, but for the moment that pawn is attacked and it will not be so easy to get it to h8 on time. So how can white hold this position? We'll talk about that in a minute, but first the results of the competition. The question for this week was, what is it that you like about chess? Explain in one sentence why you like the game of chess and or enjoy playing it. It is a competition sponsored by the Mind Game Shop. The link is there. It's also in the description box. And it's run by woman grandmaster Erika Siva. She also runs a chess web shop for books. The best is it. And the link is there. As I said, the links are in the description box. Please click on them. To see what they have on offer. Thank you for doing that. Let's look at some honorable mentions for this week. Sushan Akaria says, I like chess because it's simply a non-verbal debate of ideas. And VTR Vieira says, I like chess because it's a beautiful art for soul and a ferocious battle for the mind. Eugene Sesma says, I like chess because even when my body eventually deteriorates, I hopefully will still have my mind to enjoy such a strategic game in my old age. Yes, very nice one, Eugene. Chess is for all ages. There's a few more. Manuel Guzman says, For me, chess is the place where all the voices in your head disappear in all the different lines with a common goal and then go quiet when they agree. Silent madness. And G. Meyatza says, I like chess because, like a fractal, simple rules lead to endless complexity. And Shantanush says, I like chess because it's, a, it's the most violent and silent thing on this planet. Violent and silent. I love it. Jason Byrne says, chess parallels life in a way. Sometimes you need to move backwards to succeed. Very nice one, Jason. Very deep. And Brandon Corrigan says, I enjoy playing chess due to the strange and wonderful people I come across and the friendships I have developed through it. And, of course, that is very true, Brendan. Aditya Vadali says, Chess is an art where, with the help of my 16 paintbrushes, I try to portray a masterpiece in the end, within the frame of a chessboard. That's why I love the game. Very nice one, Aditya. Very creative. And Tzades A Café says, I like chess because it's an infinite game. You will never play the same game twice, and you always have a lot to learn even if you play the game every day for the past 20 years. And here's the winner. The winner is one pawn star. I like chess because, it's a, because it is a pure battle of the minds. Age, race, sex or disability, none of these things matter over the board. Very nice one. Thank you very much, one pawn star. You've won this competition. You won the book, The Grandmaster Battle Manual. If you send me an email to this address, then I will put it in the post to you. This weekly competition will run for six weeks. We started on October 7th, we'll finish on November 11th. Each Saturday, a new question. And the new question will be, for week four, will be in video number 233 on the legendary Danish Grandmaster Bent Larsen sacrificing his queen for only two pieces. That's what the video is about, and at the end of the vi that video, I will give you the question. So please have a look out for that video. And now back to the position, the composition from the Finnish composer Kivi. And here it is, white to play and draw. But how on earth can we do that? We look in big trouble that a pawn seems unstoppable. Well, white starts with the move h7. That makes sense. We want to promote as well. And now it's interesting to see, which is already quite nice in this composition, that a2 does not work. 
And why does it not work? Because we have King G8 preparing to promote and then A1 Queen. Now White has to be careful not to promote to a Queen himself because then he gets checkmated. Queen A2 check, King F8, Queen F7 is checkmate. So after Black promotes to a Queen, White has to play an in-between move. Knight E7 check, deflecting the King. King G5, and then you can promote to Queen, and White has his draw. Very good. So back to the beginning. We played H7, and we cannot play A2 with Black, but Black can try King F7. And now the White King cannot move out of the way of the H-pawn. Good move. Then white has the move knight d6 check. Surprising move. There's all sorts of surprises and twists and turns in this composition. It's very, very rich. And why is that a good move? Because if you take it, then white is still mated and has his draw. The king and the pawn can both not play. So after knight d6 check, you cannot take that knight. But you can play king f8. And you still have your a pawn, which will run down the board. White then has to play knight takes b5, attacking the a pawn. So a2 is the only move that makes sense. And now we have to play knight d4. That's the only way to make a draw. We're now threatening knight b3 or knight c2, covering the a1 square. So black will have to promote. Before we go into that, let's look at a move like knight c3, which looks good for a second, as black cannot promote to a queen now. If you promote to a queen, we have a stalemate again. But after knight c3, black can win by playing a1 rook, threatening to bring his rook to a8. And I'll give you a sample variation to see why that this does win for black. For example, knight e4, then king f7, knight e6 check, king g6, knight e8, rook a8, king g8, and rook takes e8 as checkmate. There's other variations, but they all win for black. You can work them out for yourself. So that was after knight c3, which is refuted by a1 promotion to a rook. So we said we have to play knight d4. And again, we cannot promote to a queen with black, because that is a stalemate. King, pawn and knight cannot move because of this pin. But we can promote to a rook again. A1 rook works. Well, it seems it works. Because now white still has a draw. He plays knight e6 check. King f7. And now the only move that draws is knight d8 check. Let's quickly look at why the other moves don't, n do not work. After knight g5 check, that's a simple one. There's king g6 and there is nothing that can be done against rook a8 checkmate. If you try knight c7 to take the a8 square away from the rook, then there is rook a7 hitting the knight. Knight e8, and then rook d7, a tempo move. Of course, you cannot play rook a8 here because we have stalemate again. But rook d7 is good. Knight e6 check. King g6. Of course, you have to be careful. You cannot take that knight there because it's stalemate again. But if you play the king to g6... Then white will be running out of ideas. Knight f7, rook e7, knight d6, and then rook a7. And white will get checkmated. For example, king g8, rook a8 check, knight e8, and rook takes e8 is checkmate. Okay, all this to show you that after king f7, I showed you knight g5 check, which doesn't work. And I showed you knight c7, which doesn't work either. 
The only move here that works is knight d8 check, and we'll see why. The black king is in check, so king g6, and then king g8, and now we're threatening to promote. Black can still try rook a8, and we have to be careful, we cannot just promote to a queen, because rook takes d8 is checkmate after all. But after rook a8, it turns out that white also has to make an under promotion, in this case, to a knight. Because it's check, black doesn't have time to take on d8. A brilliant touch that white has to under promote. Two after black under promoted. King f6 and then knight hf7. And the knights are covering each other and there's no way for black to win. You cannot checkmate white here. Quite a brilliant composition. Kiwi, 1936. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this composition, hope you will take part in the new giveaway competition and as I said I will publish a new question in video number 233 which will be published on Saturday October 28th. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel, please leave a comment and if you like the video it would be great if you could share it on social media. You also may want to check out my Chess to Progress channel, the link is in the description box. This is Rick from Chess to Impress, thank you for watching.